What's up guys and good morning. It is 6.44 a.m. I know, like why the hell am I up so early? But later today after work, I wanna go ahead and help my mother with cooking and baking for the holidays. And I figured this is the best time to actually film. So I got my ass up and here I am. I hope you guys had a wonderful month of September and now we are done already to October. October is my favorite month of the year because it's my birthday. I just love it. First two things that I've been loving are these facial sprays. So I have this one. This is the Bamboo Fresh Water Soothing Mist by Tony Moly. And this is the Mario Badescu Facial Skin with Aloe, Cucumber, and Green Tea. Both of these are amazing. Both of these smell out of this world. They're extremely refreshing. Definitely one of the best facial sprays I have ever found. A lot of time with facial sprays, I feel like my face is so sensitive, so my face kind of burns a little bit. I have a few sprays that do do that, and I'm just kind of like, really? Sprays really do that, but they really do, apparently. So... This one right here has a really nice calming, soothing scent and I love to use it before my makeup, after my makeup. It does set everything in, I feel like. I don't know if it prolongs the wear of your makeup, but it kind of like sinks everything in. And I love to use this periodically throughout the day if I'm just feeling kind of like hot or sweaty and I just kind of like want something to refresh my skin. So I have been loving this so much. I like it better than the rose one. This is the better one, I think. And this is the Water Soothing Mist by Tony Moly. This is again along the same lines as this one. Very refreshing, just a very nice clean scent the spray is amazing on this and look at the bottle it's just so freaking cute i had this for i think a little bit less than a month and i'm pretty much halfway gone that's how much i love it these two have been like my top mists of the month that I have discovered. The next thing that I have been enjoying is this CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation. I'm in the shade 710. I love this foundation. A lot of you guys had asked me if this is a good drugstore foundation, and absolutely. I feel like it gives a really nice medium to almost full coverage. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin. It sinks into the skin really beautifully, blends out nicely. I think it lasts many hours throughout the day and it doesn't look like breaky, like breaked up on the actual skin, you know what I mean? I do feel like this shade is a bit light for me, so I would say go a shade darker, but I really just feel like this looks like second skin on the face like you don't look like you have foundation on and for a foundation from the drugstore to do that I'm all about it plus it has a pump makes it 10 times easier to use so I've been loving that a ton the next thing that I've been really enjoying is this Estee Lauder brow multitasker um, brow pencil and this is in the shade dark brunette 04 first of all it has a little chunky little man spoolie on this side and then it has the actual bra product here this is like that 3d shape that abh has as well and the reason why i love this so much is because first of all it's creamy but not too too creamy but then the reason why i really really love it is because you don't have to tug on your actual eyes a lot of times with eye pencils i feel like i have to go over the same spot 45 times and i don't want to do that you know some people do enjoy those kind of pencils i do not i like when a lot of color comes off and if i have to fix something after then i will but this is super creamy, very easy to use. It doesn't go out of the actual brow line. I feel like it lasts a really long time. It's what I'm wearing in my brows today. Hopefully I fill them in correctly and nicely. <laughs> I'm all about easy and fast products, products that look good but are simple to use as well. It's kind of like a two-in-one bonus, you know? The next two things that I've been enjoying are these nail polishes. I don't talk about nail polishes too often, but I want to start because I find such good ones many times and I have to share it with you guys. So they're both from Revlon and it's actually what I'm wearing on my nails today. I have this one in the shade 130 Gilded Goddess, which is a beautiful beautiful gold color and then this one which is 135 which is molten magic which is a gorgeous holographic silvery shade so these are newer shades that released to our blonde line and i was like wow these are beautiful i got so attracted to these specific colors because i kind of feel like they're liquid metal you know what i mean they look really amazing on the actual nails they don't chip fast at all they're a really nice formula i was actually very impressed with they're pretty opaque with one swipe so that's pretty good very affordable just something that i feel like is really nice for like going into the full time and i will be picking up other shades from this line because apparently it's amazing so i love it next thing that i've been loving is this fresh sugar lip caramel hydrating balm i love this so much it doesn't have such a strong scent so if you guys are sensitive to scent it's not too overpowering so you're good to go on that but you guys can see that i use a really nice amount there this is my go-to night lip balm so what i like to do is take a thick layer coat my lips with it and then in the morning i get up my lips feel really nice hydrated it doesn't have any um, dry skin on it it's just pretty much looks how your lips, you know, how you want your lips to look, you know what I'm saying? I feel like a lot of other lip balms are pretty similar in a way, but there's something very unique about this one. Like, it just has a very luxurious feel on the lips, and I don't think that it's so expensive for what it is because it will last you a very long time, and you feel like a million dollars when you put it on. That's just the truth, you know? So I've been loving this, and I highly recommend this. It's so damn good. Next thing that I've been loving a ton is this Tarte Blush Bliss Blush Palette. So... I do have the Big Blush Book 3 and I do enjoy the blushes in there. However, I do like this one a bit more just because of the simplicity of it. Like, 
I like that you have four really nice universal shades. These shades are really like gorgeous. They're not crazy, crazy pigmented like the, on the first try, but I like that because I really feel like if you, you know, a blush is so pigmented and then you go overboard, it's really hard to blend out. So these are really nice and soft, but they give you a nice amount of color on your cheeks. Like you can get the intensity of the color that's in the pan here if you really build up to it. This is how all of the four shades look. And as much as they kind of look similar, they all look so different on the actual face. So that is how they swatch. Again, I really love them. You have three mattes in here and one kind of like shimmery shade, but not overpowering like shimmery. They have other blush palettes that they release, but I kind of feel like this is like the best of all. So of course you guys know I've been loving the Too Faced Best Year Ever Boss Lady Beauty Agenda Palette. This has been one of my go-tos this month. I love the fact that you get three face products in here as well. I, I use these more than I expected to. And then you get a nice range of different eyeshadows ranging from mattes, metallics, and then those mattes with like shimmers in there. The metallics are definitely my favorite. They literally just feel like so tushy and soft. And then this is one of my favorite matte shades ever. It's just like the perfect crease transition shade. They really stepped up their game with this one. I will say with, uh, with the other holiday palettes that they released this year, I don't know about those. But this one is definitely a winner in my book. And the next eyeshadow palette that I've been enjoying and is what is on my eyes today is this Pure My Little Pony The Movie palette. So... This is the kind of palette that when you look at it, you're just kind of like, whoa, like what should I do with this? Because you have your neutrals in here and then you have your pops of colors as well. But that's why I love it because you have your neutrals in here. You can create a very like everyday appropriate look, but then you have your pops of colors as well. If you want to just put a little hint of color on your lower lash line or play around with color a little bit as well. I will say that these are not crazy as pigmented and it's not like, whoa, intensity. But that's also the reason why I actually like this because... They're very soft shadow. It gives you a chance to build up the actual color. Sometimes with different shadows, believe it or not, they can be so pigmented and you're just like, whoa, what did I just do? You have to wipe off your makeup. You have to do it all over again, at least for me. But with this specific palette, every single shade in here is pigmented, but it is more on the softer side. So I do feel like this is great if you're a beginner, if you're someone who doesn't really use colorful shadows, but you want to just jump into it a little bit. So this is how a few of these shades swatch. Really nice. I do enjoy this a ton. The next thing that I've been enjoying this month is this Mario Badescu Botanical Exfoliating Scrub. This is for smoother, more radiant skin, and this is for all skin types. First of all, yum. Goodness, this is an exfoliating cleanser. I like to use this about two to three times a week. It has exfoliating beads in there, but it's not necessarily harsh on the actual skin. It doesn't strip my skin, it doesn't scratch my skin. I honestly massage this into my skin longer than any other exfoliator because it just feels so good. I kind of feel like I'm getting a mini facial going on. I think it's great if you have very sensitive skin because I have sensitive skin and it doesn't hurt my skin, it doesn't break me out or anything. And I feel like my skin is so clean after this. Like you really feel like the beads getting in there and just everything, just all the gunk coming out. It just feels so refreshing and I just think it's one of the best exfoliators. It's so affordable at Ulta and the smell is just on another level. So I really enjoy this. If you're looking for a really great exfoliator that's not going to strip your skin, it's not going to make your skin feel scratchy and it's going to feel like you're at a spa, then this is something you probably will enjoy. And the next and final thing that I've been enjoying this past month is this Sephora Favorites Give Me Some More Lip Set. So I did do a review and lip swatch video on this. You get 15 lip products in here, technically 17 because two of them are duo and the um, lip products. But this is how the interior part looks. I think they set it up so beautifully as always. But the reason why I really love this is because even though it might seem like it's a lot of money, you get so much in here ranging from many different colors of nudes, reds, and pinkier type of shades. And if you're someone who typically doesn't wear such specific shades like deep browns or like red berry shades, I think this is a really great set because it's kind of going to make you step out of your comfort zone just a little bit, at least for me. I know I'm someone who doesn't wear like deep and berry reddish shades, so this is a really great set because I know it kind of like not pushes me but like you know it makes me try new things and sometimes i seem to like it sometimes i don't but that's okay i hope you guys enjoyed this video definitely let me know what you guys have been loving in the month of september if there are any products that i personally need to check out i'd love to hear your recommendations and i will see you guys in my next video bye